trust in the United Nations is now at an all-time low. It depends on what country you're in, uh, what part of that country, what part of the world, what continent you're on, but due to the recent war between Ukraine and Russia, and now, even more recently, the war between Israel and Hamas, trust in the United Nations is at an all-time low, according to a recent poll. There's no confidence in this peacekeeping organization. What's the point of it if it can't even keep peace? People are thinking, how is this organization a, a blessing to this world? How does it help this world? What's the point? Psalm 72. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. All nations will be blessed through him and they will call him blessed. Most of the Psalms that we have in the book of Psalms are written by David, but this Psalm 72 is one of the few that we have, actually the only one that we have written by Solomon. And in it, he talks about a coming king, a king who will be coming, whose name will endure forever, who will be a blessing to all nations. That name that endures forever, that name is Jesus. He is king of all nations, but through his life, his death, and his resurrection, he blesses all nations, everyone throughout the whole world. Gentiles, like you and like me, are blessed through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so call him king. Call him blessed. He is a blessing to this whole world. He is a true peacekeeper. He brings peace to our hearts now, and we will have peace forever and ever after Judgment Day. That is a king worth calling blessed. That is a king worth praising forever and ever. Amen.